Hi, my name's Keith Cooper, No Flight Images. In this video, I'm just going to have a quick look at monitor types because I'm quite often asked, um, should I get a 4K monitor or will a lower resolution one come? And the answer, like most of these things, is, sim is not a simple one. Um, it's as much bound up for me, and this is a, an answer from my point of view with some questions you might want to think about. It depends on what you're doing and also on your eyesight. Now, I know that quite a lot of uh, my viewers are of similar age to me, and you will appreciate that your eyesight changes and has limitations. It depends on an awful lot of things, but that happens for younger people as well. Now, the reason I was asked this is because this monitor, these are both BenQ monitors. Now, I don't test many monitors, so please don't ask me which is the best monitor or such and such like that, because I simply don't test enough monitors. I'd also lose the will if I had to test many monitors. It's a pretty tedious process, but you know, there are going to be people with lists of specs and things like that. But anyway, these are nice. Now, I use these. These are both 27 inch monitors. This one is a 4K monitor. This is one of BenQ's latest. This is an older one. This is SW2700 and that is a lower resolution. Now you can see the difference in resolution because uh, the, this is the same image opened up at 100% on each monitor. It's, Photoshop is running on this uh, Mac Studio here. And here's the view on the 4K monitor. There's the view on the 2.7, 2.8, QD, HD, I can't remember the name for it anyway. But anyway, that's a lower resolution monitor. Both are hardware uh, yeah, hardware calibrated, so they're both good monitors. I've calibrated them to the temperature of the lighting around here. So they're good monitors that I would happily use for editing. Now, I also have, and this is connected to what is currently my main machine and will be when this moves over the other end of the monitor, of the other end of the office, I have a 32-inch um, 4K monitor, a BenQ one, and that I happily use 4K. Now, it depends also on the system you're using, uh, whether you're using Macs or whether you're using Windows. Windows has a little bit more adjustment in it for allowing for the size of the interface elements. And here's the big problem you get with a 4K monitor on something this size, certainly on a Mac, is that the interface elements are very small here. Now, depending on your eyesight and how close you sit to the monitor, you may be able to see them quite well. Um, I can't. Um, I'm long sighted, which means that uh, with my normal glasses where the camera is over there, I can read the lettering, I can see the screen to the side of it, and yeah, it's not as sharp as it once was, but it's fine. Um, I need glasses for close up vision. But because of my vision, if I take these glasses, these general purpose ones, these are in focus. That's a little bit far away. It's actually in focus for this one here. If I want really strong glasses, I've got ones that live, and these are out and out strong reading glasses. These live in a camera bag, and they're for reading screens and looking at screens on the back of cameras. So if your eyesight is in any way off standard like that, then you are gonna to have to allow for it. I have these uh, glasses here, which were made up by my opticians, uh, basically asked me the distance where I, I normally have between where I sit at my desk and the screen. And he's optimized these glasses for my eyesight, for the distance I normally work at. Now that's for sitting over at my office, my desk over there, not here where I do this. So these ones are that sharp, these ones, well that's better, and if I put the strong ones I can focus to about this distance. Why all the bother about glasses? Well if you do need glasses, the only way you're going to see the benefit of the 4K screen is obviously if you're shooting 4K and editing 4K video, you ideally want to have a screen which shows your video at full resolution. If you're using 4K um, on something like this, then you're going to lose resolution because it's not a 4K monitor. So video is one thing, but I don't shoot video. These uh, uh, videos are only shot at HD. So I'm only shooting HD video at the moment, and HD video comes out about this size or about that size on that. So in general, in ease of use for most people, this lower resolution monitor at 27 inches is probably 
an easier to use monitor. Now, you don't get as much screen real estate in terms of pixels as you do on this one. So obviously there is far more detail here. The other thing is, if you're sharpening images, you really need to get some practice for print this is, or for, for viewing, is to see how the sharpening that you see changes depending on the resolution of the monitor. So if I'm sharpening images for screen, um, I will add a little bit of sharpening on them. Quite often I'll just, yeah, it's just a bit of unsharp masking just to give a little bit of extra sharpening. This is when I'm doing web articles and things like that. But the 4K monitor, certainly 4K on a 27 inch monitor, the detail here is getting very fine. I need to put on my stronger glasses to be able to see the individual pixels on the screen here, whereas my normal closer vision glasses will let me see it on that. So um, there is no simple answer, but basically for general purpose use, for 27 inch, I would likely prefer this resolution. This is just a bit too fine for my, unless I was of course doing 4K video. On the 32 inch monitors, 4K is actually rather good. Um, it could still do with being a little bit better. Um, and I suppose in really what I'd like to have would be a 4K 36 inch monitor, but nobody makes monitors that huge. So you're up to this size here. Certainly if you go below this size, if you went down to a 24 inch, 25 inch monitor, 4K is gonna get very fine detail. How often do you look at your monitor screen from this distance? Probably not that often. It's not a phone. Um, and remember that um, if you're doing stuff for showing on phones, you've got entirely different resolution issues than that. So um, very nice monitor, but actually in terms of usability for general purpose, if I was connecting up to a laptop, say this one would probably be more generally useful than this one, even though this is by many standards, a better monitor. It's a far newer monitor. It's better standards and things, better color range things. Both are hardware calibrated. Uh, both are uh, widish gamut, you know, around about Adobe 98. So it comes down to what you want to use them for. So, you know, the easy one is I am editing 4K video. Well, get a you know, monitor with lots of resolution in it. Uh, less easy is if you need multiple pairs of glasses like I do for different distances and you don't have a script this size then yeah this one will save you some money there is a there is a version of this one which has the same resolution as this um, and it's really about what works best for you uh, so as I said there is no simple answer for it if you've got any questions feel free to let me know because I've been I've had several people ask specific ones about this and I often say that if you've got a question, ask away, because if nothing else, it gives me ideas for videos, because if people are curious about it, um, yeah, this is best. That's actually perhaps a little bit more generally useful. But um, there you go. Um, did I say I don't sell monitors? So I'm <laughs> in, a, in a way suggesting that you get the cheaper version. Um, still, but get a good one. Get a good monitor with hardware calibration. If, Color is important. These are set, by the way, to 4000K um, to match the room lighting so that when I produce prints, they look very similar. So the lighting on these matches the uh, lighting here. Um, but anyway, enough of that. I have some more stuff to do. I need to look at some of these cameras here, and particularly this Fuji lens, which I've got to, is got to go back to Fuji. So I really must get around to recording a review of it. But thanks for watching, and I hope that's of some relevance to some people. Just, you know, Think about what sorts of glasses you want and what they're useful for. Thanks.